talk about glycolysis. We first start off with glucose. With the aid of hexokinase and ATP, we will get glucose 6-phosphate. Isomerase, fructose 6-phosphate. Turn into fructose 1-6-phosphate. Another ATP is used and ATP is produced. Oh, the next step is cleaving. GTP, DHAP. These are the molecules produced. But we need GTP, DHAP is a somersault. The rest of it is time to. GTP undergoes oxidation while NAD plus is reduced. We will get 1 3 bisphosphoglycerate. NADH is produced. 1 3 BBG loses a phosphate. Just NAD into ATP. Triphosphoglycerate to phosphoglycerate. Oh, phosphoenol pyruvate. Last step. Phosphoenol pyruvate loses another P group. ATP is used, ATP is produced, or oh, finally we have pyruvate. Aerobie and aerobie. Pyruvate can go two ways. We could get acetyl CoA or octalate acid. It all depends on our body. Step 1. Condensation. The cycle starts with the breaking of the unstable bond attaching to the acetyl group to coenzyme A. The acetyl group then combines with a 4-carbon molecule called oxaloacetate to form a 6-carbon compound citric acid or citrate. The coenzyme A is then free to combine with another acetyl group from pyruvate and repeat the process. Step 2. Isomerization. The atoms of citrate are rearranged by the removal and addition of a water molecule. Isocitrate, the isomer of citrate, is formed. Step 3. Oxidative decarboxylation. Isocitrate is oxidized and loses a molecule of carbon dioxide forming a 5-carbon compound alpha-ketoglutarate. NAD plus is reduced to NADH plus H plus. Step 4. Oxidative decarboxylation. Alpha ketoglutarate is oxidized, loses a molecule of carbon dioxide, and combines with coenzyme A to form a 4 carbon compound, succinyl CoA. Step 5 Substrate level phosphorylation. The bond attaching coenzyme A to succinyl CoA is unstable. The bond breaks, and coenzyme A is displaced by phosphate group. In this reaction, succinate is formed. Step 6. Oxidation. Succinate is oxidized and FAD is reduced to FADH2. The resulting compound is fumarate. Step 7. Hydration. Fumarate is converted to malate by the addition of water. Step 8. Oxidation. In this final step, malate is oxidized to reform oxaloacetate, while NAD plus is reduced to NADH plus H plus. The regenerated Oxaloacetate can now combine with another molecule of acetyl coenzyme A and the cycle repeats. ETC, ETC, it will produce ATP. First of all, NADH, donor electron to complex one. And ADH dehydrogenase pass electron to ubiquinone. Electron will bring to complex 3 cytochrome C reductase. It will transfer electron to cytochrome C. And then complex 4 receives the electron. Final acceptor is oxygen. It gain electron produce H2O. All the complex will pump H plus. 
to the intermembrane space. After that, FADH2, we'll skip the complex one. But it will blow into the complex two. So finish the hydrogenase. The flow itself with the NADH from ubiquitin and the complex four. The proton concentration boosts up into membrane space. A gradient is created and transfer proton from the higher to lower concentration. The energy from the transfer of proton change ADP to ATP. This is called proton multifold. All these true phosphorylation, ATP synthase. This is N of ATC. ATP is produced. ADP is used. Electron transport chain to chain to chain.